we're gonna dive into the Colorize Neural Filter, which I'm very excited about. I will just open up Neural Filters real quick. There are a lot of different images and things, not images, features and things that are in our Neural Filters panel. When you first jump into the Neural Filters and you go to use one of them and it will download that Neural Filter. You can use its features and kind of explore designing in that way. Right off the bat, you can see that the Neural Filter actually does an auto color image, which you can see this little box here is checked to auto color the image. If you would like to preview between the before and after as you get into colorizing your photo, all you have to do is click this little button right here. Um, if you hover over, it'll say show original and you can toggle it with a click and toggle it back on with another click. As you scroll down through here, you'll see there is an adjustments. And in this adjustments drop down, you can see that there are some profiles. I can come through and like if I go to retro purple yellow, you can see that it kind of starts to apply a profile to it. You can kind of see which colors are going to be most important, so to speak, or highlighted, featured in the colorize effect. Let's use the retro dark. Maybe you want to get a little bit deeper into the settings and kind of mess around with the color sliders here. So I could saturate this photo a little more. If I want to add a little bit more color, I could slide it over to the cyan. If I want to add a little bit more blue, I can kind of peek at the magenta. You can use these sliders here to kind of reduce the color artifacts, the blending of colors throughout the piece. If I crank that noise reduction all the way down, you can still see that texture and these artifacts in the photo. And if I crank it all the way up just to be dramatic, you can see how that really smooths and kind of buffs everything out. If I want to kind of alter the color of the wood here to make it all cohesive, or we could even, I can see here that it's made this little boy's pants blue here. We come up here to the focal points panel. This is the focal points area and you can get really in depth with changing colors and sampling colors here. Let's start with these pants because this is something that is pretty straightforward and we would only have to create one new color. If I over here on this focal point panel, if I go ahead and click, I can add a focal point right there where his blue is, hue or shade here and go ahead and click OK. This doesn't change it too much, but what I can do also is as this color is selected, I can come over and I can tap another focal point on his leg here and that will actually start to colorize and bring that color down into his leg. It kind of blushes or bleeds around to other objects um, in the photos. So I can kind of turn that strength down just a little bit and I can do that with this other leg and start kind of changing. The, and I do want to kind of bring back this color of the bench. So what I'll do is I'll place another focal point right there and we'll come in and change this color kind of a dark brown. We can kind of go over how you might output the different changes and things that you've made. And I think that the greatest thing that you can do when working in Photoshop is to work as non-destructively as you can. Come over here to this output drop down, and you can see all the different things that are available to you. I have one, it says new document actually, so I could actually output this entire edit to a brand new document if I wanted to. I can output it to a smart filler, a new layered mask, a new layer or current layer and I would like to output to a new layer hit okay you can see here that I have my old layer which is the original photo and then I have my new colorized photo one of the things that I think is really really neat is output options as new color layer you might want it to output for you like a blending mode a color blending mode so I can hit output as new color layer and you can see that all of the colors that I've added and altered are there for me. Hit OK. Created a color blending mode for me right here, which I can toggle on and off. I just have a color layer to add into my blending modes for that project. That is what I have for you on using the colorized neural filter today, folks.